What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. Nandito na naman po yung inyong teacher, Sir Gaor. And this is our fifth lesson with regards to special products. Square of a trinomial. Okay, so ready na po ba yung ball pen and paper para po sa ating drill? So, pakiorasan lang sana. Kung kaya ng one minute, one minute lang. Okay? Good luck! A few moments later... Time's up na po. We may now check our answers. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo yung drill natin for today, yung numbers 1, 2, and 3, naka-squared lang lahat sila. Tapos yung numbers 4, 5, and 6, okay, for number 4, 2 times yung number 1 tsaka number 2. Yung number 5, 2 times say, uh, numbers 1 and 3. And then, yung number 6, 2 times 2 and 3. So, bakit kaya ganon? So, baka may kinalaman yan sa ating lesson for today. So, another type of special product is what we call the square of a trinomial. Okay, so medyo mahaba yung ano niya, pattern niya or format niya. Pero madali lang naman makabisado. So, ito lang yung dapat nating makakabisado. So, x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2xy plus 2xz plus 2yz. So, bakit ba siya ganun kahaba? So, paano ba nakuha muna yan? Sige nga. So, punta muna tayo dito sa baba. x plus y plus z quantity squared, that will also be equal to x plus y plus z times another x plus y plus z. So, imumultiply yan. So, kung iisa-isahin natin yan, so ito, x times x, tapos x times y, tapos we have also x times z. And then, y times x, y times y, y times z, and then, uh, z times x, z times y, and then, z times z. And combine similar terms, so ganito nga ang lalabas dyan. No, pero madali lang naman siya makabisado. So, tignan nyo yung una. Puro naka-squared. Yung first three, puro naka-squared. Tapos, yung next three ay puro may times 2 sa harapan. Okay? Tapos, pinagsama-sama lang. So, by the way, meron tayong tatlong terms kasi ito ay trinomial. So, we have the first term, the second term, and the third term or the last term. Okay, so here are the steps. So, nandyan naman siya. Square the first term, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng x squared. For number 2, square the second term. For number 3, square the third term. For number 4, twice the product of the first and second terms. So, 2 times yung first term na x times y na second term. For number 5, twice the product of the first and third terms. So, 2 times yung first term times yung third term. So, pagkatapos ng last one, number 6, twice the product of the second and, the th and third terms. So, 2 times yung second na y times yung third. So, ganun po siya. So, medyo madali lang naman makabisado. Okay, to learn more about square of a trinomial, let us have the following examples. So, by the way, napansin nyo na ba kung, ba kung bakit ganun yung drill natin kanina? Okay, so ganito yon no? So, yung first three que uh, questions, we are asked to square. So, i-square natin yung tatlong yon Then, afterwards, yung numbers 4, 5, 6. So, palaging may times 2 sa harap, tapos combination ng first three, ng dala-dalawa. No? So, 2 times first and second, 2 times first and third, and 2 times uh, second and third. Okay? So, kaya ganun yung drill natin. Okay. So, let's have the examples. So, we are asked to expand the following. So, we have a trinomial here. So, our first term is A, our second term is B, and our third term is negative C. So, square of A. So, A squared. A squared plus square ng second. So, plus B squared plus negative C squared. Okay, so those are the first three terms. Then afterwards, so anong combination natin? Plus 2 times first and third. So ang first natin ay A. Ah, first and third. First and second rather. First and second. So 2 times A, B. Plus 2 times first and third. At yung third natin, remember, ay negative C. And then plus 2 times second and third. So B times negative C. So, yan na po yung ating setup. Okay? 
So, nakita nyo po ba yung pattern? So, tatandaan lang naman palagi sa special products, kagaya ng sinabi ko nung unang, nung unang video natin, no? So, tatandaan lang ang pattern or format, tapos gagayahin lang, tapos isi-simplify. So, wala siyang mahabang solution. Although, may mahaba yung term natin, no? Mahaba yung polynomial natin, pero yung solution ay hindi naman. So, isi-set up lang naman, tapos isi-simplify lahat. Okay, so we have... Okay, so we have a squared. So b squared is b squared and negative c squared is positive c squared. So magiging positive na siya because that's negative c times negative c plus 2ab. So this is also 2ab. This one, for this one we have negative, may isa tayong negative sign. Kaya negative 2ac. And then sa dulo, Meron pa tayong isa pang negative sign, kaya negative 2BC. So, this is now our answer. So, yun ay magiging answer. Pwede nyo nang itry, check nyo kung tama nga ba. Multiply mo yung A plus B minus C sa another A plus B minus C. So, medyo mahaba nga lang yun, no? Okay, kaya nga tayo merong uh, technique or special products para hindi na tayo mahirapan masyado. Okay, let's, let's go to example number 2. First term is M, second term is negative N, and third term is 3P. So, set up muna natin. So, tandaan natin ha, first term is M, second term negative 2N, and third term is 3P. Square the first term, so square natin yung first term which is M, plus square the second term, ang second term natin ay negative 2N, so i-squared natin, plus i-square natin yung third term which is 3p. So yan. Afterwards, yung mga times 2 naman. So plus 2 times first and second. So 2 times first and then second natin ay negative 2n. Continue ko na lang sa baba. Plus 2 times first and third. Yung third natin ay 3p. And then plus 2 times second natin ay negative 2n tapos ang third natin ay 3p. So yan. Nakaset up na siya. Tignan natin. Check natin. First, second, and then third. Puro sila naka-squared. Tapos yung last 3 may times 2 first term tapos second term May times 2 first term and third term. And then, may times 2 second term and third term. So, naset up na natin ang tama. Okay, simplify na lang. So, we have, that is also equal to, m squared is also m squared. Negative 2 n squared will become positive 4 n squared. And then, 3 p squared. Yung 3 p squared naman magiging, so 3 times 3 is 9. 9p squared. Okay, for this one, bilangin natin, may isa tayong negative sign. So, that's, so this is negative. So, that's negative. Tapos, 2 times 2 to. So, we have negative 4mn. For this one, wala tayong negative sign. So, kaya positive tayo. Plus, 6, 2 times 3 is 6, 6mp. And then, for the last one, may isa tayong negative sign, so that will be negative. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. 12. Tapos, yung mga variables natin, n, and then p. So, 12, n, p. So, therefore, that will be our answer. So, normally, 6 terms palagi yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So, ganun po siya. Let's have example number 3 which is a word problem. If a side of square board is 2x minus y minus z inches, what is its area in terms of x, y, z? Another is what is its area if x equals 7, y equals 3, and z equals 1? So the question is the area. So it's a square. So given yung square, given naman yung side nung square. So therefore, again, the formula to solve for the area of a square so, that is a square. Area of a square is the square of its side or S squared. And the given side, 
Ito po yung ating given side. So, square lang natin siya. So, that is now 2x minus y minus 4z and then square. So, yan. Okay, let's continue on this part na lang. Okay, so that's the square of a trinomial. So, we have the square of the first term. So, 2x squared plus the square of the second term. Our second term is negative y. So, negative y squared and our third term is negative 4z. So, plus negative 4z squared. Okay, first three terms. Next, fourth term, 2 times yung first term na 2x times yung second term na negative y times negative y. Continue natin sa baba. Plus, plus 2 times yung second term, yung first term natin na x or na 2x squared. 2 times yung first term natin na 2x squared and then yung third term na oh sorry, wala siyang squared. 2 times yung first term natin na 2x and then yung second term natin na in third term natin na 4z. Okay? And then for the last term, we have 2 times yung second term natin na negative y and then yung third term natin na negative 4z. So, yan. Naset up na natin siya. Hindi natin equal sign sa harap. Alright. So, nakaset up na siya. So, answer na lang natin or simplify na lang natin. 2x squared will be 4x squared. Negative y squared will be positive y squared. And then, negative 4z squared, that is positive 16z squared. And then, dito bilangin natin ilang negative sign. So, merong isa. So, therefore, we have negative. 2 times 2 is 4. So, we have 4 xy. So, negative 4xy. And then, here, we have one negative sign. So, negative pa rin tayo. 2 times 2 is 4 times another 4 that is 16. For our variable, xz. So, 16xz. And then, for the last term, dalawang negative signs. So, therefore, positive tayo. 2 times 4 is 8. So, 8y Z. So, remember, it's a word problem. So, dapat lagyan natin ng unit. Ang unit natin kanina ay inches. So, therefore, we have square inches. Okay? Next, number that will be. What is its area if x equals 7, y equals 3, and z equals 1? So, meron tayong dalawang possible solutions dito, pero ang piliin na lang natin yung, yung mas mabilis. One solution is, since meron na tayong area ng square, ito na nga yun, yung mahabang ito, pwede nating i-substitute yung 7 dun sa x, yung 3 dun sa y, tapos yung 1 dun sa z for this one. Kaya lang matagal masyado, mahaba masyado yung ating polynomial. So, pwede natin namang balikan yung kanina. Ito. So, dito na lang tayo mag-substitute. Pagka-substitute natin yung x, y, z, compute natin to, tapos saka natin squared. So, tapos na agad yun. Okay. So, let's answer. So, again, area of a square is equal to S squared. And then, that side is equal to 2X minus Y minus 4Z. And then, that is squared. So, yan din. So, parang umulit lang tayo dito kanina. And then, so, substitute na natin yung binigay na value ng X, Y, Z. So, 2X, ang value ng X ay 7. So, that's 2 times 7. Okay, so lagyan na lang natin ang bracket dito. Minus y, so that is minus, yung value ng y natin ay 3. And then, minus 4z. And then, minus 4, at yung value ng z natin ay 1. Pagkatapos, uh, yan ay naka-squared. So, yun. So, anong ginawa natin dyan? Ito yung 2x, so ito yung value ng x, minus y, minus 4z, ito yung z natin na 1. Tapos, naka-squared siya from this one. Okay? So, evaluate na lang natin. So, following PEMDAS rule, mauuna muna itong mga nasa loob na to bago natin i-squared. So, this is now, pwede na tayo mag-parenthesis na lang. Okay, so 2 times 7 is 14. And then, ito minus 3. 4 times 1 is 4. Tapos, squared. 
So, that will be 14 minus 3 is 9. Or 11 rather. 11 minus 4, that will be 7. 7 tapos siya ay naka-squared. So, therefore, 7 squared is 49. So, 49, ang unit natin ay inches. So, we have 49 square inches. Okay? So, it, has, it is time for you to practice what you have learned. Um, so, you may pause this video. Sagutan muna yung mga nandiyan. And then, kapag play nyo, uh, mag-check na po tayo. Good luck! A few moments later. Okay, time's up na po. So, ito yung ating correct answers for today's activity. Okay? So, I hope you got a score of 5. Pero kung hindi man po, paki-counter check nyo kung saan ba kayo nagkamali. Okay? So, on our next video, so yun na yung last lesson natin regarding special products. Okay? So, I, I hope to see you again in our next video. What's up, guys?